YouTube peeps. OMG, I'm so excited right now. I am so over the moon right now. I had to capture this moment because I want to remember this here. As you know, I am in the midst of my triathlon training. I uh, am training for an Olympic distance triathlon in June of 2015 this year. And what it involves is a, uh, it's like a one mile swim, a no, just shy of a one mile swim, a 24 mile bike ride, and then a six mile run afterwards. And for me, my strongest area is the cycling. My next strongest would be the swimming and the running historically has been where the weakest section was for me. But let me tell you, today, clapping with every word, okay? Today was the first day that I ran an entire mile. Excited because I am someone that when I did the Iron Girl last year, which is a sprint triathlon, I am a power walker because I'm carrying a lot of weight. I'm still working on my weight loss endeavors, and but I'll move it. I will move it. Um, but I would just walk it the whole time, and you know maybe I get in a little trot here and there. So my coach is like, hey. I have a triathlon coach I work with. She's like, we gotta, you know, get you running to get you in the time that you need to be for the Olympic distance try. And uh, today was the first day I ran a whole mile, y'all. And let me tell you, I'm gonna give a word real quick. I'm gonna give a word real quick because just like two, three weeks ago, I was talking to my girlfriend, Stacy, and I was like, girl... I don't know. I, I don't know if it's looking good for this. I don't know if, if this is still something I should be doing because the running was so hard, okay? Don't let the people fool you. <laughs> running is not easy, especially if you got a whole bunch of meaty thighs and body that you're trying to get around the track or get down the street or get on the treadmill, whatever the case may be. So, but my coach, Andrea Hearth, Vision Multisport, I'll forever shout her out. She, you know, puts together a plan for me. And so we started in December. We knew that race was in June. We're starting in December. We got seven months to build. We got seven months to, to lay the framework for you to be able to do your job come June. And so we started at the beginning of December. Here we are on January, I don't know what today is, January 29th. And now I am able to run a complete mile. So excited. And so um, I have the, the Garmin 910 uh, multi-sport watch. And so I can use this to track I mean, pretty much every metric under the sun. This is like a computer on my wrist for all intents and purposes. But as I'm running, I'm looking at my pace. I'm like, okay, uh, to do the the run, a one mile run in our gym is like five and like three quarters of a lap in our track. So one, one lap in, I'm looking at my pace. I'm like 4.3. Okay, feeling good. Next lap, 4.4, feeling solid. Third lap in, just focusing on breathing through my nose because the second I start panting through my mouth, like, <sighs> then, you know, it, it starts to kind of fall apart. So I'm just focusing on breathing through my nose, you know, lap four, relaxing my arms, settling in. Kelly Clarkson's Stronger came on. I'm like, okay, Stronger, I'm going. And then lap five, you know, said Lynn, still feeling good. I'm like, oh shit, this might actually happen today. Then Britney Spears' Work Bitch comes on. I'm like, yes, Work Bitch, let me do what I need to do. And I'm running. And then we get into that sixth lap all the way through, finished it. Got a great time, just a smidge shorter than a 12 minute pace. Um, I am so excited. I am so, so excited. And I wanted to capture this, if anything, more for myself, but hopefully for inspiration for anyone that is plus size and learning how to run and learning how to embrace running. It is possible if you just stick with your training and keep doing it. If you don't have a trainer, I know a lot of people that have had great success with the Couch to 5K app, uh, C25K, and there's like a million plans that are online. Just Google, Google how to you know start running, Google training for your 5K if that's what you want to do. But y'all, I did it. One mile. Now I just got to learn how to do that six times in a row. <laughs> my triathlon okay 